Are you looking for some new math games to keep your kids engaged? Well, in this video, I've got six math games that you need to try. So kids love games and I love simple games that are quick for the kids to learn. They don't take a lot of materials and they have fun with them. So if you're new here, my name is Tessa and this is Lessons for Little Blessings where you'll find math, reading, writing, and other ideas to help your kids thrive. So today we've got some dice and domino games. So that's really all you'll need to get started. I will put in the description box below the links if you would like to print out some of these games and pages, um, but really you could just put them, you know, with pencil on a piece of paper. So you could kind of make them your own if you don't feel like printing them. These games range from about preschool to third grade. It's kind of hard to put an age on it just because you know your kids best and so you can kind of see what they're ready for. However, you might be surprised at what your kids can do at a younger age that you might not realize they can do. These will start pretty simple and basic and then stick around to the end if your kiddos like more strategy challenge games because we'll have some of those as well. So this game is dice in dice equations. So he's got a dice in dice. It's a special kind of dice. So I'll have it linked, but you could really just use two dice if you didn't have one. So on the inside here, there is a little dice. That's a two. And then the outside shows a six. So he wrote down his two already. I'll write down his six and then you just find the sum. So this is an easy one. They can do um, by themselves and just is kind of a neat little warm-up or if they finish early you can throw it in for something extra to do. This is Domino parking lot so he's just got a bunch of dominoes he's just picking one and finding the sum and then parking it on that number. If your child is having to individually count all the dots, kind of like Caleb here, we're still working on some number patterns, dot patterns. And so I've got a video that I'll link down below. If your child is the same, you might be interested in checking that out. The idea is to for them to subitize. Um, that's just to quickly recall visually seeing that and knowing that that pattern makes that number yeah, so it's kind of like a flash game where it just it holds up different dice dot um, like tin frame those kind of number patterns so the quicker they get at visually seeing that many dots and knowing it's that number One, it just two, helps three, with problems like this where four, they don't have five, to individually six, count seven, all the eight, dots nine. they can just see the numbers and then they'll be able to find the sums faster as they get more familiar with it this game is called three in a row and there are kind of two ways you can play it really. You can get three in a row or you can fill up the whole board. Player one and two, they each take turns rolling two dice, finding the sum and then covering up that number if they have it. So it's kind of like bingo, you might have it, you might not. Um, the first one to get three in a row could win or you could play to cover the whole board. So this next game is a board game. So if your kids like board games, they'll have fun with this one. It's called Math Around the Park. And it says you need dominoes um, and a die and you can really use any kind of flashcards. So it's nice because you can customize this one. Uh, if you want your child to work on addition facts, you can do either the dominoes or flashcards, um, or you could even have subtraction, multiplication, or division. So that's kind of nice and flexible with this game. So let's say you do have the dominoes, they will uh, choose a domino, they'll find the sum, and if they get it correct, then they will roll the die and then move that number of spaces. And there's fun little spaces on there, move forward, move back, that kind of stuff. Um, and then if you wanna use the flashcards to say do multiplication instead, then it would just be them drawing a flashcard. If they get it correct, that math fact correct, then they roll the die and move that number of spaces. So that's a great fun one that can be nice and flexible. Another fun game is Dino Race. And this one is great for two to four players. So it's kind of fun if you've got multiple kids that you want to play together. Say if you're homeschooling, you can get more than one kiddo playing this game. 
and the idea is just comparing numbers really. So stu uh, children will roll two dice, two dice and then they will make the biggest number that they can. So they'll have to kind of be a little familiar with their place value and larger and smaller numbers. So they put together the biggest number they can and the other players roll as well and the bigger number of that round gets to move their little marker down a space. So that's um, a fun game. The first one to the cave wins and my son is really into dinosaurs so that's why we made a dino game. This game is called Race to 100 and this is a great game for maybe those older elementary kiddos that have a good grasp on their place value and what ones and tens are worth and how to make the number 100. Um, because that's going to all go into this game. So I'll show you and I'm just going to go through as player one, but obviously player two and player one would take turns. So we'll start with that first roll. I've got a five. Now I can make that five ones or five tens, which would be 50. And I only have six rolls. So I better get five tens just to get jump start on getting to that 100. There is another five. Now, obviously I can't make that five tens or I would already be at 100. So that's gonna have to be five ones. And then I'll find the sum here after every roll now. So we're at 55 and six. So that's gonna have to be also six ones. I can't have 60 or I would be over 100. So now we start getting into the 60s, we better keep going. Um, one or 10, now that we could do a 10. I think that will still work because that puts us at 71. Getting closer, four, we cannot do four 10s, so we'll do four ones. And now we're at 75 and we only have one more roll. Two, ooh, now I can make that two 10s to make a total of 95, so I didn't go over 100. So now, depending on what player two got, if they had gone over 100, then I would have won, or if they didn't make it as close to 100, then I also would have won. So that's Race to 100. That's a pretty fun game to play. As always, I hope your kids have fun with these games. If you're interested in more math, reading, writing, and other fun activities for your kids, please consider checking out my channel and subscribing. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.